doza video time. So I bought this as a bit of a project. Well, I did a swap actually. Long story, I won't go into that. Anyway, here she is. Little D2. Cracking little tool, very happy. As you can see, all original paint. There's not a single dent on it, everything's straight. None of the rams leak. Um, the tracks, we took them off because they were worn, so they're away. They're being repinned and bushed as we speak. They're actually done, they're ready for picking up. Um, while the tracks were off, the clutch was sticking. So we removed, you can see, we removed the bell housing at this point, took that out, freed the clutch up. It was just rusty from standing for so long, not being used. Freed the clutch up, put it back in, that worked. All the linkages back together. I'm going to give everything a grease up while I can get under it. Um, I took the canopy off because it was rotten and no good. I'll just make a new one, put a proper steel canopy on it. Uh, did have a heater mounted there where the two screws are. Obviously, with no cab, it's not a great deal of use, so I blocked these pipes up. That's leaking, so job this morning while I've got a bit of time is just take take this pipe off, cut it down, and I'm going to block it just there. Get rid of that so we're not losing any water. Um, the other end is easier to get out. It's here. I might might be able to unscrew this and just find a cap to go in there rather than leaving the flexible hose on just cap it off properly this side as you can see the engine everything's spotless uh, can you see the 3,371 hours genuine it was used for clearing snow which I can believe because there's still all the paint around the drives and everything is still on which is unbelievable really because that's the first place it'll wear off not really any play in all the linkage for the blade that's all good six way blade on it and the cutting edge on the blade I mean the corners aren't even worn off the blade's got no dents in it it's in great order so yeah last jobs is get the tracks back on and I believe it was the left hand steering clutch. You can actually see the levers aren't lined up. So we think the left hand steering is a bit out of adjustment. If not, we're we'll gonna have to have a look at the clutch pack and sort that. Um, it needs air filter box, which I'll be able to get spurious. And it wants, uh, this is the exhaust box. Obviously I should not be able to hand in the the end of the exhaust so that one's fixing but nothing major now we've done the difficult one which was the clutch and the gearbox out to free everything up oh sorry yeah the most difficult job was these tanks the hydraulic tank this side and the diesel tank that side were pitted and were leaking so we had to strip all the valve chest off strip the levers off take them off patched them up with a two-part liquid metal, patched all the holes, made sure they weren't leaking, and then this black paint is actually, an, again, a two-part paint, and that actually forms a, a liquid plastic, so that should seal them up now. That was They weren't leaking after patching them, so with that on as well, should really be a belt and braces job where they are 100%. That's got 10 gallons-ish of hydraulic oil in, the fuel tank's got five gallons of diesel in, and so far they've stayed dry, so we're happy. Uh, along with the new tracks, we're getting new sprockets, so sprockets and tracks to go back on, and then she's drivable, so just a few little jobs now. We're getting there. I can only come and do this when I've got free time, like now I've got a free, a free morning to do bits, and it just takes so long when you've got to do it like that, but you've got to keep earning, haven't you, so... Anyway, yeah, so there she is, weighs about five tons. I'm gonna make a great little dozer. 
be lovely to repaint it because it really would look like new as it's um, so straight but we'll see how we go on paint's expensive and this ain't going to go out on a job anytime soon so I could just get it get it up and running everything back together fixed ready to work and take it in the yard and keep it in a tarpaulin keep it under sorry keep it under a tarpaulin for the time being but anyway I'm going to do a couple of little jobs on it now while I'm here and uh, we'll get a little video later when we've uh, finished there you go there's the dozer so we've got a few bits done I cut the pipe to put a new air filter top on however when I investigated a bit further the actual air filter housing the box in here was full of holes so that it wants a whole new that whole box wants replacing which isn't the end of the world shorten these pipes down and cap them off out of the way I, I need to do a bit of a better job of that but under here I don't want to mess with this too much because it's joined onto the main hose top hose on the engine so if I got a crack in there by pulling on it too hard or whatever that would be a bit of an issue so I've left that just capped off I've probably put a jubilee clip around that and for the moment call it good done the same on the other side Put the pipe down, put a bolt in it, it's out of the way. Um, I did find this is an S4E2 Mitsubishi engine, and I found a website that does all parts and everything for it, so that's good. Um, got this piece on, put that back on around the blade controls, and also when I flipped it up, we put all the bolts in that so on the underside I've actually found a bit of a diagram all the points on the dozer for maintenance and the chart that tells you what goes in there engine oil hydraulic oil all that kind of good stuff so that'd be handy for getting it up and running again um, greased everything under here so when we put the floor back on everything that you can't get at is greased greased all the blade Nothing took more than five or six squirts of grease, it really isn't worn out at all. And as I said earlier, to still have the paint on the bottom of the frame for the blade, I mean, the machine's done nothing. It really has done. It was apparently used for clearing snow, which I do believe now, with all the paint being underneath, and even on the belly pans. That would be the first to go if it was in muck. Um, so yeah, exhaust box to do, put an end in, and air filter housing to do. You can see on the rams. Oh, I'm swinging on that, and there's so little play. Very happy. I'll uh, see what we'll do. I'll jump up and show you the controls. Yeah. So it fall off. So there's your dash, temperature gauge, ignition, don't know what anything else does, don't really need to. So throttle on your left hand side, gear stick, you've got forward one, forward two, forward three, Reverse one, reverse two, so three forward speed, two reverse speeds. Clutch. I think that's a handbrake, but it's seized. And then you've got your levers. Pull it back to brake, and all the way back to do the clutch. So on this side, so they there for steering. Blade controls. Nearest levers, blade up, blade down. Angle left, angle right. Sorry, tilt left, tilt right, and your outside stick, angle left, angle right, like it is now, angled, pushing them up that way, so that alters that one. Um, yeah, hydraulic tank, diesel tank, 
diesel gauge needs a new tube on it really it's not it's not clear enough to see um, yeah dead simple that is what I like we grease the prop everything I've given it all the wash off everything's clean all the oils at good levels so really once I've got the air filter box done and the end of the exhaust patched up she's good to go right jump off and go do something else so there you go you're up to date that's where I'm up to with it and uh, as I say it would be lovely to give it a full coat of paint but I don't think that'll happen anytime soon anyway crack on and see you on the next video